after swimming hundreds of kilometers, the now dying salmon reach the waters of their berg. Jockeying for position, they struggle to spawn. from the sharply hooked snouts that form just prior to breeding, fight each other for females. Females vie for the best spot to deposit their eggs. With a wave of her tail, the female salmon makes a gravel nest for her eggs and releases them. The male then fertilizes their potential offspring. Just as the salmon sharks stalked the salmon, others will hunt their offspring. A giant lion's mane jellyfish joins a troop of moon jellies. creatures may seem benign. They are, in reality, a navy of hungry predators, a gelatinous flotilla feeding on tiny salmon eggs and lava. While some salmon have already spawned and died, Others are still making their way to their spawning grounds. Each river has its own timing, allowing fish access to their home waters without competition from other salmon trying to get to theirs. Nature cleverly staggers the salmon schedule, accommodating the salmon shark's infinite appetite. But if, for some reason, the salmon never ran again, salmon sharks would not vanish along with them. The sharks would simply forage for other fish, as they do when the salmon are not running. There is a reason that sharks have survived for over 400 million years. By September, most of the salmon are dead. As the salmon disappear, many of the sharks leave the sound, making their way to warmer waters where some will give birth to the next generation of salmon sharks.